Well, the 2018-2019 APSA Premiership season is very much still in its early stages, but what it has already provided is plenty of talking points, plenty of new ventures as well, live on your World of Champions. And one of those new ventures is this very show. Yes, the cat is out of the bag. Fan base starting right here on your World of Champions. It's a show for the fans, by the fans, with the fans. We want you at home to give us your thoughts on what you've just seen as far as weekend's action is concerned. And here to tell us a bit more about that, Remember that the show is a fan-centric show. We want to hear all that you have to say. Do send us a 45-second video on WhatsApp on 065-878-8182. If you want to be part of the live studio audience, do email us at fanbase at supersport.com. With the APSA Premiership 2018-2018-19 theme being Bring Your Voice, this particular show allow you exactly to do that. Bring your voice by simply dialing 089-110-4747. Standard rates apply all across the African continent. But if you prefer your fingers to do all the talking, engage with us on social media. Now, no matter our history, our background, our love affair with the beautiful game all started out with us being fans. Whatever your social media medicine, be it Twitter, be it Facebook, be it Instagram, do get in touch with us. Remember the hashtag SSFanBase. Oh, it certainly is a hashtag SSFanBase. The fans are the VIPs, and if you don't believe me, take a look at this. Every Sunday on Super Sport 4. Watch fan base at Super Sport on Sunday. Hello, no. Hello, no. The 12th man. What would football be without the fan? Fan base. A show for the fan by the fan. Watch fan base every Sunday on Super Sport 4. Do you feel as if your opinion doesn't count? Give us a shout on fan base. If you're keen on being a part of our live studio audience, give us a shout as well. Get in touch by mailing us on fanbase at supersport.com. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you watch the fanbase Supersport 4 every Sunday. Peace. Yes, indeed. The SS fan base is up and running, and it's, as I did say, all about you at home. Remember, our burning question for the week is, and this is something for you to think about uh, quite uh, ardently over the next couple of days, which side has, at this stage, made the most impressive signings uh, during the transfer window? Is it Sundowns? Is it Pirates with all the numbers that they brought in? Is it Vitz as well, who made a very good start to uh, the new campaign? Or is it Salty, who are 3-3 three and three as far as uh, the APSA Premiership is? concerned. What we are going to do though is go straight into it as far as the weekend's action. We've just seen Bloemfontein Celtic and Orlando Pirates get down to business at the Free State Stadium and we're not going to be talking too much about it but the people that are going to be talking plenty about that action are the fans that are right here with us in studio. Plenty of you as well and uh, I'm trying to look for a Celtic fan here. I can't really find one but I'm sure wherever they are they're very happy with what has uh, just happened. So I'll start with you uh, Brafani. Orlando Pirates uh, isn't as hungry. The only problem with us is that it could be to uh, I'm mm. finishing. I'm a striker's weight. It was a sharp stinger at a player. Gam Nandi. The only problem is striking a department. I'm sorry, a mover. Pagati sim Nandi. Manga Pegutis sign a player at Am Nandi. Understand? So the only problem is finish up. But in Nanto Nai, so which has in Ama supporters. Ba Banga 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 Tu. That's it. That's it. Okay, umuti kisa se eli umuti linkinga le yo finishing oba nala season ya iko ni mpela gu pirates na manji sa ko umuti inkingi la pekzek ya inkinga ipambi le pat izo pele ngasi kan izo pele oshonge izo pele es nigeze two games lezai uzongje la wande uzongfune 
Bafanya, are you happy with the signings though so far? Yes, 100% happy. 100% mm. happy. We have good strikers. Ukabuza nimbuni na mshanje begazala. Ushapu, you understand? The only problem is finish up on your Simnandi. I wonder if you have another Orlando Pirates supporter here because other people say that these signings sort of changed the combination of, you know, the team from last season. Anybody? Yes. Okay. Uh, Sanbona Nikai. Uh, Mina, I think the problem uh, right now with the Orlando Pirates, Mount Atapega, since from last season, mm. eh, we had a strong team towards the end of the mm. season. So uh, after these signings that we've made, we, well, we've made good signings, eh? And then they say that these signings that we've made is because we are now involved in Champions League and there's other competitions also here in the PSL. So I think the problem is that now the rotation, the rotation of the squad upon Google uh, Pirates. So now Mangatapega, for instance, today, we've made five changes mm. from Le 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 Game Le Esbuya Guyo Le Evet, you know. So I think the problem is it, it, it seems like we are starting again. Last season we were building and basically, basically pro, it progressed to us coming okay. Yeah. So now that we, we, we had some several players that got injured, the, like Abu Memela and the likes. But now this season we were, we were, we were looking for, forward to, to Ukbega e Pirates from last season. Mm. You know, because last season they were good, they were coming okay. Now this season it looks like a coach, it try to manage Ukfita, Lama player, or Swasai so I think that's the problem now. So I think we need to find a consistent team. Mm -hmm. This is your Uti. This is our first eleven. Yeah. You know. And then when Magna Ma suspensions and injuries, maybe that's when we sing a tata lap on our Because we can't always rotate a team all the time when we play, we change, we change. So I think we won't find it right if we if we continue in that way. Okay, all right. Uh, very well put there. Remember, SS fan base is the hashtag for you to use. We believe we've got our very first caller on the line on a fan base. Uh, caller, what do you have to say? Yeah, I, I would like to uh, echo um, the supporters' um, uh, sentiment. Mm. You know, the, this, this, the, the loss uh, of Pirates, uh, I'm a Pirates fan, so the, the loss of Pirates can be attributed to the technical team. Mm. They are basically becoming jittery and they are showing their inexperience. If you look at, uh, let's, leave, let's start from the defense. Diamond Topola was not doing so bad. I mean, he was starting forward, he was getting the necessary crosses, you know, into the dangerous areas. The coach put in Mapangwa instead of Diamond Topola. Why did he make that change? Was it necessary? And if you look at the goal that was scored by Celtics, Mapangwa was basically ball watching and he didn't offer anything, you know, going, going forward and also in defense. In the middle third, he had our best player in Orlando Pirates jersey at the moment. He had Nyatama on the bench. Mm. Why was Nyatama on the bench? No reason. Ben Motswadi is not better than Nyatama. And also Magola is not better than Nyatama. So he got it wrong there. So he messed up the combination of Tolam Lambo and also Nyatama. Up front, why did he leave our best, our, 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 our highest uh, uh, goal scorer at the moment? Why did he leave Shong on the bench and put Gabuza in? I mean, Kabuza has been with Pirates for seven seasons. He has never been a top goal scorer. So this coach, this loss, or rather, this loss must be attributed to the coach. They failed us, and they have to be accountable and, and tell us why did they make so many changes. Mm. Okay. Yeah, sharing certainly sharing some sentiments about um, the Orlando Pirates game and saying Nyatama was left on the bench. Seho, do you agree? He should have brought in the more experienced players. Yes, I think Nyatama was, well, is, a, is a very vital player for Pirates in the middle of the park. I even saw uh, the game against Supersport. He was mm. not even, he was also not in. So there was, I think, a, a combination of uh, Ben Motswari and Utenten, who call him It's not solid. So yeah, from last season, he was playing, no, Utenten was playing no Nyatama. So I think the uh, combination of Ben Motswari no no ne Nyatama, they are not, it's not really solid. So I think that in the, in the middle of the park, we have a problem. And then Unyatam, I think he was supposed to, to play today because mm. we, we could see Uti, he, there was a space sack that is left. Yeah. Mm. It's based on certainly showing. But thank you all for your reactions. Now we've got more callers on WhatsApp. Um, take it away. 
Shakes from Betty here. So Julius Stewart posed the question to say which team has had a great transfer period, a transfer window so far. And I have to definitely go for Orlando Pirates. A uh, reason being is they've added numbers to their squad. Not just numbers, but they've added quality. Vincent Pule, Ben Montuari, and as well as a goalkeeper in Berlin Kuzayo. And I think you'll be able to see the best of Orlando Pirates this season and they will go for the league. And I think it's Orlando Pirates. Hey yo, what's up fan base? Goodness gracious, football is back so yay! Exciting stuff, PSL is absolutely interesting and everybody is talking about it. How do you not talk about Pirates? How do you not talk about Wits? How do you not talk about Sundowns? How do you not talk about Bloomfield and Celtic? So I'm a huge football fanatic, so hence I'm able to appreciate different things from different football clubs. Um, every team has a talking point, but definitely one has to talk about is Nyamang and Gani Orlando Pirates. Goodness gracious, unfortunately they're not getting the results that they should be getting. But they are performing, which is amazing. I mean, you see your likes of Unyoso, 1010, Udaiza, amazing stuff. So it's crazy. Orlando Pirates could take this one if they get the results and stop considering silly goals. Hi, fan base. I'm from East London. I'm a Pakania fan. Currently, Pakania is not playing bad. It's just that we have not won the last two games. And I also think that we are trying too hard. We just need to tone it down a bit, get the basics right. Once we get the basics right and the combinations right, we've got the right players, we've got the right attitude, we should be getting the results anytime from now. Once and always, Pagania, away. Well, it sounds like there's a lot of a reaction as far as Ipaga Paga is concerned. But I do want to say that we have to give credit to Steve Gombella at uh, Bloemfontein Celtic as well. He's done a fantastic job and not a lot of people uh, are talking about that. Uh, Irfan, anything you want to add as far as that is concerned? Well, I'm just looking at the Twitter sphere and mm. things are going off the hook here. A tweet us by the user Vuyo Simao says Steve Compella played three games and won all. Mm. Um, of course, you now understand that he wasn't really in Kinga. Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so <laughs> 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 yeah, well, Steve Compella certainly proving his mettle out mm. in the City of Roses. What a victory and what a result for Bloemfontein Celtic against all odds, eh? But what is he doing right at Celtic that he didn't do at Chiefs? Mm. Mm. Well, I think that's a question maybe yeah. we can uh, pose to the fans and our viewers who are watching. What is Coach Steve Gombella doing right at uh, Celtic? Because everything seemingly going according to plan for him. But what we are going to do now, though, is move on to uh, the action that we saw on a Friday. It was uh, Kaza Chiefs making the trip to M. Kungunjovu against uh, Maritzburg United. And uh, I do believe we've got a call on the line as well. But before we get to our caller, Still without a win. So, we have to go to the house. We have to go to the house. We to go to the house. We have 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 to go to the house. So, Chelor did it like this season. I don't think we're like it. Did it until again. So, Chojo Kujara, Steve Uberiki, the Mochipsi, Upalich, Mopalichongona, the Gasmus of Gamsola. So, when you're in Terrell Village in Fellow Gore, like Kagel or Regal Kujar, and so, and then they're not the Plara. Again, so Reduma were like a Regahono Gira, like a dependent like a big guitar, a couple of Navy one Mara. One thing for sure gets a bongo empty. Do you think Solinas is the man for the job? If you like a Marata Guru Solinas, you know, you know. Karek Bolejo or Ring Revalati Riba Paul, Kerupala Walla Polo Mara, Ketamido Gavalet, Tatamatau, Mangatlap, Kimotoverata Paul. So my lord, or triple honor, will I wonder like a Merqua, Anya Gorlegofele? Halfway, so we're at our outdoor level. Like I did at lap, eleven piece. We're not even three minutes now. More on. Or our run like that. Look how tall we're now. We're now as as I do my lord. I got pedal we're now. So when you're doing the plan, we're going to pedal we're now. If we want to move on, so change the regime. We're going to move on. 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 We're going I don't think we're at Lapaja won. Barata Holyamout. I get the word understand that. Because if never at Lapa, yeah, Chief C or Paris or Sandanzi, Kuji, Wakasan, Achia, maybe the Carapa, the Postal Stadium. 
So just because like Baba Gorno was the young Munga Bagala or Nale, working Moyola was Krimula or Melchakapia. Hetlapa is your Shoma Bonogar Mutomo like a Gibo Fellow Pass. So Nalukujara, Rikuina, a Buplava Jolape, Levin Peace. I are fellow Moy, Moya was Sufi. Moya don't know. I was a Pelu Moya Makosi, and he says that he loves Salinas and he is the man for the job, but we still have more fan reaction on our WhatsApp line. Hi, friend Bez. I'm Sienna Kunyasha from Tanzania. My favorite team is Kaiser Chiefs. Currently, we're playing very well. We are lacking goals. But I see with the new coach came in, uh, uh, we're going to be a tough competition. As a Chiefs supporter, I think the team started off well with the draw against Sundowns. We were excited after seeing that game, the win against Free State Stars. We were excited, but then it came back to the the draw and uh, the loss, the loss against Vince. Yo, that was hectic. But we'll give Solinas a chance and see what he can do. It's still early days anyway, and the guy hasn't had much time to work on combinations. So we'll see. And I think I'm a course, they're not that much bad, you know, with time, Bazo Bashap. The problem is with their finishing. Mabe attack alapani finishing yabo. It's very, very poor. But at the back, we can't complain uh, that much. I think against events, yeah, Lapo, they were they were poor, but with time uh, they improved. And the other problem, good team, the fact that the coach did not have enough time to prepare with the team. So now Koloko Gailimaza it him somehow. But with time, it team is over sharp. We can't press the penit button so much. Well, it sounds like uh, coming out of Soweto is uh, the plea for time. Both Abal and Dilibi Pirati and Kaiser Chiefs are pleading for time. We've got Wonga on the line, though. Wena Bonga, what do you have to say? Uh, good evening, how are you? Hi, uh, Boga. This is Bonga, I'm calling from Newcastle. I'd like to say, um, my, problem, my, my problem with the team is, I think it's for, for Victor Oum. It's not the coach, it, 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 it will never be a, a coach. Even if it's a competitor, it's not the coach. The new, the new coach is the best thing for him. The problem is with for Victor Oum. He doesn't want to spend more money in order to buy quality players. I mean, you can't rely on come up with the You can't do anything. One man chooses is not a one man thing. You must really try by all means to get quality players as soon as possible. Sooner before it's too late. That is all I'm going to say. Okay, okay, Thank Bonga. You. Okay, Bonga, I see thank you very much for your thoughts as well. So I yeah, Obonga Guninga show you now, but I think for Amakosi, Musho Mutabanguti that first win, when is it gonna come? Uh second Dumang, if you like me also, go Rotala weekend. So super sport Rotwe Chalagamit. Uh MTN eight. Rotwe Chalagamit, Rafana Ling, you will be like it out to Gayona. So Lina Sigia Dumela or Darisha Fanabale, Motor Solen Changasi, how come a level like play yet a la one other play in Wabots, Mushima Lots on a link and Zam, uh Natala Red Bag and Aque uh Mr. Gombella Salo, Maranova Mujir Bam Darisha Pusin and Nedal Gomal Chase. So Sanger relevant mistake Jello Diba one of La Ping and then refill direct to fire then one or not to la Peluga. So Mutros on a le Kamabila one issue o Kamarai, the colour. So eh ke dumela hore se zene ta re ge fela ya ba gore nge tshe pedi nyana di khapu di gona a ke re makhosi tshe pedi jona di khapu di gona ka hore eh rena rena pelo jela tsa di ice cream pelo jana ke jama kwate ke jama swiga so that's why ke re eh o re fitlhe ka mo blacking ye ha o no ba sembolo so modimo ke na tseba mabaka ka mokana rena wa re fitlhe so le ba ile gore motho mong ba palla ka hore ba ka di state ya mong hore motho ma sa pata di tlapa tsa bona ka pelo tsa bona Sure, a lot of fan reactions, particularly to Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. Well, Kaiser Chiefs still has an opportunity to win a trophy when they go on to the MTN8. Well, after this, we continue the conversation with our fans. Thoughts on the PSL season so far? Well, um, it's been quite exciting, lots of goals. Uh, disappointed by some teams but my team Black Leopards has shown to be uh, 
They look like they've played the season before uh, in the PSL. They look fresh, they look energetic. <laughs> And for me, they'll go all the way and finish in the top eight, definitely. I don't, I don't see them even being relegated. And they might win a title or two. fan base the show that is all about the fans for the fans and with the fans we've been getting a lot of reactions from supporters from all over the PSL teams particularly about the weekend's matches but one match that we want to draw your attention to is the upset that Super Sports United brought upon this in this week's matchup anybody did you think that Super Sport would get that result against this particularly because this has been on such a great winning streak yeah, I, I think um, uh, Vets has, 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 a, has good sign, uh, signings now, and um, I've seen that before before the uh, last night's game, they are gonna um, uh, fall for, uh, to uh, to Super Sport because they have been uh, winning uh, this these matches uh, without losing or without drawing, and Super Sport was also uh, looking forward, you know, to um, uh, to upset them, mm. and 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 to be honest, you know, uh, Kevin Hand has, has made good signings. If you can check this boy uh, Hashim. Um, Domingo, he's, mm. he's a very good player. He, he, he came from nowhere, but then, you know, he managed to, uh, to create a goal against um, uh, Orlando Pirates, which was an own goal. Um, and also, uh, you, you saw yesterday the way he was playing. There are also players like Hoto, who, 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 who people rated him very low, but then he has, he has, very, he has played very well. Matupu as well from Chippa United. Even Matupu, yeah. Matupu yeah. has, has played very well. Mm. Ish unfortunately scored against us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, and you know, there's also Umzwagali from yeah. uh, yeah. Chippa United. And uh, they, 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 they didn't show that they've lost, you know, good players like mm. Abu Pule, Abu, mm. uh, Abu Mutsuari. Yeah. But then they managed to, 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 uh, to replace them. Mm. You know, I, I'd like to see, you know, young players, you know, coming in, you know, mm. uh, uh, play that way, yeah. But Do you think he's learned his lesson because he won the league, the 26 and 2017 league, and then he benches the players that won the league, and then now the players are gone. Do you think he's learned from his lesson this yeah, time around? I think I think he did learn from uh, those lessons because mm. he, he his his team uh, was just few 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 uh, seconds to go to, and the NFD uh, last year, and he's he's seen that you know whatever that he, he did last year, yes. it wasn't uh, working for 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 him. Mm. Now he has brought all those players. Remember there were mm. players like um, Kamal. Who, who 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 we thought is a good player, mm. but then he he bench, he benched them. You know, there were players like uh, Abu uh, Steven Pinar who who were, who were coming from overseas, coming here. We thought that maybe they might do uh, something good for the team, but they mm -hmm. couldn't. But then uh, this time with these players, this signing uh, the, 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 the the players that he signed now, mm. I think he's gonna uh, uh, do very well uh, in in the PSL. Well, it is uh, very easy for all of us to sit mm -hmm. here and uh, have our say. But let's quickly find out what the fans who were at the game, the big game of the weekend, had to say about this particular encounter. that was assembled by Stuart Baxter in 2016. So it's still very strong and solid. We don't have a finishing coach. 
I'm disappointed, but my boys, they played very well. I'm very proud of them. Now, next game, we're going to win. Today, we did try our level best to play against a strong team and a good team on the day. But I'm really, very, very proud of my team. <laughs> Well, Matatanta are very happy, as they should be, uh, picking up that second victory of the season and bringing an end to uh, Vitz's unbeaten start to the campaign. Well, what we do have now is uh, one more game that is coming up during the week. Of course, the champions were in African or African duty rather during the weekend. They are back in action, taking on Highlands Park this uh, very weekend. Well, we're looking forward to see uh, the champions back in action as well. Unfortunately, yeah. Bali. We really are out of time. It really does. It really does. Ah, but remember, we love hearing from you, so do engage with us on our social media platforms. You are at hashtag SSFanBase and also WhatsApp videos, 45 seconds, great quality, 065-878-8182. So do engage us, call us. We want to hear more of you. And mm. if you want to be a guest with us, Fanbase at supersports.com. Well, that is certainly uh, the uh, first episode of Fanbase, where it's all about you, the fans. We want to thank each and every one of you mm -hmm. uh, for coming through and uh, sharing your thoughts and your views at home. Continue to do exactly mm -hmm. that as we build up to the second episode taking place next weekend. A lot to look forward to between then and now. But for myself, Aziz Kubu, Mbalinkosi, and the rest of the team here at Supersport, it's goodbye. Mabagania. Why Mabagania? Because they, they, they have a good squad. Obviously, oh, Sandown. So I see a level from Engele Finya Horabatu, Bar Sandown, so in Opelaya Reg. Sandown is one to reggae or Astava Horrible development. It's like Real Madrid and Barcelona. Very rare player one year, not a little bit. So we're not consistent to go to Rega Harina. So I want to read a continuity and all the lady signing series. Really, each year one, I always saw her back and buy a jail about some get close to my five years. What a question, you know, most what's up? Can you always have a family? You make them go to our league, it's Sandown, so I want to bring it to chips and many in the temple. Ah, pool with the girlfriend's old man. Sam sips on his savannah. Mmm, that crisp taste. He wouldn't dare win. Not on Dad's home turf, would he? Ooh.